Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to do a follow up on that reading that I just posted. I feel like my energy was a little bit scattered because I was kind of rushing to get out the door and I just wanted to finally put something up and post it and then I ended up not even being able to, to download it and, and post it in time. Anyway, so it's it's going up today and this is a follow up to it because I wanted to, you know, ground myself a little bit more and look into this more. So in that reading, I was basically getting the energy of a fuckboy type. Um, he is a good man deep down. He does have a romantic side. He is a good person deep down, but I think something happened that just made him not want to be loyal to people anymore. He just kind of got into this mentality of like, you know, it's it's a killer kill be kill or be killed world. I'd rather screw people over than let them screw me over. It's like someone that he's a real emperor deep down, but I I kept getting this visual of like a false emperor, like a just a lot of ego. I just felt like he was wearing this mask. Um, it just feels like it's like he just doesn't really want to be vulnerable with anybody. He doesn't want to let anyone see that side of himself. He doesn't want to be in touch with that side of himself anymore. He basically, it's like he wants to be a player, but being a player doesn't necessarily come naturally to him. It's something that he's learning to do. It's something he kind of pushed himself into uh, after a heartbreak, I think that he went through. So I think it's starting to come naturally to him. Maybe he's been even, you know, in this player mode for maybe even a couple of years or more. Um, but it didn't like on a soul level, it originally did not come naturally to, to him to be this kind of like a player. Uh, I feel like this is something that he just learned over time. And I just, I don't know, I almost felt hesitant even putting that reading out there because I really don't want to convince women that they should be rehabilitation centers for damaged men. Um, I hope no one takes it that way. That's definitely not what I was trying to say. But in that reading, just to recap really quick, it's like I was getting this energy that most women are really attracted to this man. It's really easy for him to have the upper hand when it comes to women. I think he also tends to go for women that are a little bit dumb and a little bit naive, to be honest. So it's really easy for him to have all the control, all the power. It's easy for him to get them to be submissive with him because of the type of women that he goes for. It's like they don't really, they, they just don't question him. Um, he doesn't like it when people see through him. I definitely get that vibe from him. But I feel like with you, it's it's like he doesn't, it's like he doesn't know how to seduce you. He doesn't know how to charm you. You're different than these other women that he's met. He doesn't really know what to say or do to get a reaction from you, to get you to chase him. It's like he's used to all these other women that chase him and baby him and jump into bed with him right away. And you're different. You're confident. You're you're intelligent. You're much more intelligent than most of, the, most of the women that he's gone for in the past. You're mysterious. You see through him. You don't put up with his shit like these other women have in the past. Um, and basically, I'm, I'm just going to recap real quick and then we're going to get into it more because I do feel like there's more messages here. But basically what I'm feeling is like he's going to try to seduce you. It's going to be like the forbidden fruit must be tasted. It's like you're the one win woman who, you know, isn't all over him. You're the one woman that won't just jump into bed with him. You're the one woman that's actually really different. And I feel like it's almost going to bruise his ego a little bit. Like, well, what's wrong with me? Like I could have all these other women. Why doesn't this one want me? Why isn't this, why doesn't this one find me charming? Like, why is this one so much more difficult? Like, it's going to be a challenge for him, and I almost think that he's going to try to read you and study you, and he's going to try to seduce you. He's going to he's gonna realize that what works on those other women doesn't work on you, and so he's going to try to figure out what will work on you, and I honestly think he's going to kind of end up falling for you a little bit because he's going to – it's like in order to study you and try to seduce you, he's going to have to tune into your energy and really get to know you, and – I think he's going to dive into it thinking that he's going to have the upper hand, that, he, that he's going to have the control. And before he knows it, it's like he's engulfed in your light, in your healing energy. It's like he's past that point of no return where he's just, where he, I don't, it's, it's almost like I just see him like enmeshed with you in a way. 
And I feel like you're going to trigger some kind of psychic awakening, some kind of transformation. It's almost like you're going to heal him, but it's not, he didn't want that or he didn't, it's not like a conscious thing that either of you are doing. It's just going to kind of happen naturally and it, it's, you know, going to be too late for him to back out. Um, so it's almost like, and we got into that already in that last reading where it's almost like he's kind of being tricked by his spirit guides into going through this tower moment with you into going through this transformation he's going to dive into you basically thinking that he's going to have all the control and actually you're the one that's in control your spirit guides are the ones that are in control um i did want to say about that though make sure that you're i i wouldn't date this man at least not right now he has a lot of work to do on himself um so i wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket and i do want to say as well like make sure that you're even as a friend make sure that you're getting out getting the same energy back that you're putting into this make sure it's a a mutual give and take here um and also for some this is a karmic lesson you don't have to do this for some of you i mean i do think that you can bring about some major transformation in this man's life but i just i just keep seeing like two paths ahead it's like if you go about it a certain way you're just going to end up in another karmic cycle with like third parties or emotionally unavailable men. Um, so definitely do not have sex with this man for one thing. Make sure that you keep the upper hand. Um, just be wary of karmic patterns because this could be a karmic test for a lot of you. Even if you do have the potential to really heal this man, even if that is, you know, meant to happen, it could still be a karmic test. It could still, if you go down a certain path, if you don't play your cards right. I feel like this could end up just being another karmic cycle, another karmic lesson. Uh, so just be really careful about that. But anyway, sorry about that. I just wanted to recap for those of you that didn't watch that last video. Um, and just to kind of refresh my memory as I get into it, because I just feel like there's more to know about this. Tell me more about this, this fuckboy type. Hmm, Mercury retrograde, communication issues. Someone's got their eye on you. Doing research. Okay. Water sign. Could even be a water sign. Cancer, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Lost loved one watches over you. Hmm. Okay, give me a minute, guys. I just, I feel like I need to dig. I feel like there's something... It's like I'm channeling something, but it's like it's blocked. Like I can tell, I just know that there's more information. I know that there's some stuff that didn't come out in that last reading, and I want to see if I can get through it. But it seems like there's some kind of wall. Could even be spirit guides blocking it until the time is right to relay that information. But I want to see if I can at least get a sense of what, what's being hidden here. Just bear with me, guys. Hmm. Mercury retrograde, spy... I feel like we're almost picking up where we left off in that reading yesterday where I was talking about how I feel like they're remember I was saying they're going to try to seduce you and so they're going to try to really read you and I feel like they're doing that now like if they're on your social media it's like they're they're trying to find out every little thing about you so that they can come up with some kind of plan to seduce you they want to figure out what's going to work on you so what about that? What are you trying to say about that? I almost feel like it's spiritually led, though, because it's almost like it's kind of like what we were saying. It's it's almost like they're going to end up falling in love with you, like they're going to end up getting attached to you. You know what I mean? Like they're going to be studying you. They're going to be reading the things that you write. They're going to be paying attention to your body language, your mannerisms, the things that you say, the things you do, uh, your hobbies, your interests in an attempt to seduce you. But then it's like the more they get to know about you, they're going to see that you're genuine, you're real, you're different. And they're going to kind of start falling for you. Um, I still, like I said in that last reading, I still would not put all my eggs in this basket because this person is still a player. Even if they are a good person deep down, don't get caught up in that, you know, beauty and the beast kind of mentality and that that cycle of trying to fix this person. Like even if you want to help them and support them, don't don't get too wrapped up in 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 their bullshit. OK, um, tell me more about this. OK, so what do you want to say about this? OK, so we know that they're researching you, they're studying you. And that's spiritually led. They're spiritually guided. Liar. Be careful. Someone's sneaky. 
Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay, we have liar. Be careful of someone's sneaky confession. Someone has to tell you something. Honeymoon phase. Luck is on your side. What is this? Love spell. You've been bewitched. I'm going to need tarot for this, actually. I don't think the oracle cards are really going to cut it here. Hold on. But they're lying about something, it looks like. They're lying about something. What is this person lying to you about? Weird. What is this person lying to you about? Sorry, bear with me, because like I said, I, I usually... Usually I can just pull the cards and I get, you know, clear messages, but it's like I, I keep getting the energy that there's something that's blocked here. It's like there's something that's hidden and I can feel it. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting the moon card. It's like there's something hidden here. I can feel that. I can feel like a wall up and that there's information behind this wall. Like I can I could just tell like after I did that reading, I was like, no, there's more to this story. There's something else going on. Okay. I'm hoping that, you know, spirit guides don't block it but sometimes sometimes they do sometimes they just block it until the time is right to reveal that information but what are they lying about what is this person lying to you about four of pentacles death seven of wands Two of Pentacles, the Sun. Oh shit! Hold on, guys. I feel like I feel like you're triggering something in them, and it's freaking them out. Like you might be triggering a psychic awakening in this person. It's like maybe you're opening their third eye up. Or maybe they're seeing certain things on your social media and, and it's like resonating with them on a very deep level. Or it's like you're saying certain things and there's synchronicities there and they're trying to like, they're trying to play it cool. They're trying to play hard to get. They want you to come to them. This person is, they're, they're a player. They're used to women chasing them. They're used to, it's like in the last reading I was talking about it, I was like, if you have sex with this man, he's probably going to ghost you. He's honestly probably going to love bomb you try to get you into bed, you have sex with him, he's going to ghost you. Like, it's it's not a great energy. Even if he's a good person deep down, you still have to take into account what this man is, what he's consciously choosing to be, what he's consciously choosing to do. Um, I think he's, he's playing it cool with you. I think that's what he's lying about. I want to see what else is going on here because so it's like he's going through a transformation but I don't think he wanted to go through this transformation I think meeting you I think your presence your light your energy kind of pushed him into this transformation and so he feels like he's it's like he's getting in touch with his softer side with his more emotional side and he's trying to stand his ground he's trying to hold on to that old mentality that old way of being and he doesn't want you to see that he wants you to think it's it's almost like he doesn't want to commit to changing. I'm seeing um do you guys ever watch uh, Vampire Diaries? Sometimes I get like when I channel, if you especially if you've been with me for a while, you know, sometimes I get random like songs or movie clips or TV series clips and I'm seeing that scene where Damon tells Lena that he doesn't like doing good because then people expect good out of him. So he would rather just be bad. That's kind of the energy I feel from this man. It's it's like it's like he's going through a transformation. You're changing his life. He doesn't want you to know that you're changing his life, though. He wants to pretend like he's still on top. Um, he wants to pretend like he's not vulnerable, like you're not breaking him open, like he has it all under control. He feels these changes coming in, and he's trying to hold on to this old way of being. But it's like your light is just too strong. He's not going to be able to. It's like you see right through him. He can't hide anymore, and he knows it. Tell me more about this. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands. 
Nine of Cups. I feel like you guys could even go into business together, potentially. This could even be a business partnership, if not romantic. Nine of Cups and Six of Cups. What's what's up with the Nine of Cups and Six of Cups? Yeah, I feel like you're going to be putting him back in touch with, like, a softer side of himself. I almost wonder if this person is, like, a relative of yours in a past life or a... It's like there's something very innocent and very childlike about the connection between the two of you. I do feel like they're going to want to move on from the rejection, the pain, everything that they went through and heal this. This could even be, like, a childhood sweetheart. It could be, like, someone that you dated when you were younger, possibly, for some of you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about what's hidden. Tell me more about this lie. I think it's just their image it's like you're really changing this person they don't want to admit it they the way that they're pretending to feel and the way they actually feel is completely different like they probably try to be all cool around you all you know maybe even distant aloof um casual like try to act like they have everything together when really they're kind of breaking down i mean they have a lot of emotions that they're that are coming up to the surface that they're not showing you I honestly do feel like there's something else, but it still feels blocked. I don't I don't think this person's spirit guides are going to let me see it. Unfortunately, that happens once in a while. Usually I'm able to get through, but it just feels like information that's not meant to come out just yet. Unfortunately, it's really frustrating, but I just I don't like there's more to the story. And I think that it's going to come out on this channel in later readings, but I just don't feel like they're going to let me see it right now because it just still feels like there's like a wall there. I think it could also be too that they probably don't want anyone to get their hopes up because this person could go, you know, one of two ways or one of multiple ways, really. And it's kind of up in the air. It kind of depends a lot on the choices that they make next. So I think they don't want to like get too far ahead here, you know. But what are you willing to tell me about this fuck boy? What what will you tell me about? What will you tell me about him? <laughs> They're like nothing. <laughs> You're a powerful, like, witch or psychic or, like, some kind of, I'm hearing, like, sorceress. Or maybe you even did witchcraft. And I don't think this is dark magic. Like, I don't think you did, like, I don't, I don't think that you did black magic on this person or anything. But I think some kind of, it's like your power or some kind of intention that you put into this is manifesting. You might have just put the intention in of just, like, truth. It's like you, you live... You live your life by like very high ideals, it's like you have integrity. I just feel like your energy demands respect, like who you are as a person, it, de it demands respect. It's almost like you are the spell, kind of, you are the magician. And so I think that this person was kind of blindfolded, they were kind of asleep at a crossroads, and I think that you're really just bringing this tower into their life. Tell me more about this. Why the Ten of Swords? Why the Ten of Swords? Wheel of Fortune. Have the Hermit. What's 
Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, The World, Give me a second, guys. Don't, don't let this person block you from your true love, okay? For some... I don't know. I feel more of a friendship with this person more than a romantic connection. I think romance is possible down the road, but like I said, they'd really have to change a lot first. I just, I keep getting that warning about like karmic energy. Like be careful not to get wrapped up into a karmic cycle. Do not repeat a karmic pattern here. Because for some, for some, I think it could be you that goes through the tower moment. You could get wrapped up in a cycle with this person and have it end if you, like I said, if you don't play your cards right. Like if you do, you know, as I was saying before, it's like if you do have sex with this person, it's like you're just going to, you're just going to be another trophy to this person, honestly. It's just going to be like, oh, wow, I, I, it's just a challenge to them. This person's kind of messed up and they're probably just going to ghost you. I think it's going to be really heartbreaking. It's going to be really confusing. So... If you're trying to manifest a soulmate, don't just go for the first option that comes around. Make sure you use discernment. Don't let yourself fall in love with a player. I know it's hard not to sometimes because, you know, they can be very charming, but really be mindful. For some, it's actually, and it, there's, because there's two different stories here that I'm feeling. For some, it's actually that you're going to cause changes in this person's life. And they're going to have to end something to be with you. They're going to have to wrap up a karmic cycle. They're going to have to let go of a third party or they're going to have to um, really accept that an ex of theirs is not going to come back, that they're not compatible if they want to move forward with you. But for others, I think it's you that needs to be mindful and not get into this, this you know, wheel of fortune that's all about karma. Because it's like there's illusion, there's multiple choices here, and one of those choices could just leave you feeling trapped and heartbroken and confused, and then it's going to end up, you know, they're going to leave you anyway. Don't get love bombed by this person. Um, that might be the hidden energy I'm feeling, because I think for some of you, it's like your spirit guides are trying to test you. They're, they're trying to, they, like, they're trying to, car like, give you this karmic test, and they just want you to pass, so they don't want to tell you it's a karmic test, but I'm here telling you anyway, because I can feel it, but for some of you, it's like, they just want to, like, put you in it and see what you do and observe you, and then if you pass this karmic test, you're like, you stand your ground, you have, you know, self-respect, you, you really reclaim your power, you're like, no, I'm not doing this, I'm not entertaining emotionally unavailable men third-party situations it's like then you wrap this karmic cycle up and, and manifest this true love um but yeah i feel like your spirit guides almost want to keep that from you because then if you know it's a karmic test it's going to make it i don't know i feel like people deserve to know they deserve to know what's right in front of their face um i feel like you can still pass it even if you know you can still because you're still going to want to get wrapped up in this it's still going to be tempting to just fall for this person and use your own intuition too like if you're if you're dating someone and they're a good person and you don't get the fuck boy vibe then this probably is not your storyline but like if you're dating someone and like you can tell they're they're hiding their phone from you they're always flirting with other girls they're always like you know you have all these people that are telling you that they sleep around a lot like if you know something's off like really listen to your intuition What's the potential here between these two? So if you don't sleep with them, if you just remain friends with them, what's the potential here between you two? If you if you can have them in your life and still manage to not get into this karmic cycle, what's the what's the potential here between the two of you?
almost feel like at some point you would just get tired of waiting for them to come around and you would just kind of go on your own path. You would just... What's the platonic potential between these two? I think this Queen of Wands is very passionate, very emotional. Like, I think she's really, like, drowning in that energy. Like, her emotions are really high right now, especially with the Eclipse energy going on. Could even be headed towards some kind of, like, mental or emotional breakdown. What's the Three of Pentacles trying to tell me here? like this man would want to help her rebuild and help her figure out that energy like he wants to be supportive of her but I don't something more about the devil card I don't know if he knows how I don't know if he has the maturity I mean like the desire to emotionally and mentally support her is there but he doesn't know what she needs he doesn't know how to give her what she needs tell me more about this I think he's almost going to be confused by her energy because he sees her as so strong and powerful and independent. And then when he sees the side of her that's kind of, you know, sad and depressed and, and broken, it's like he doesn't know. It's almost like it confuses him. Like he doesn't understand. I don't know if he just doesn't understand like someone being that diverse or it's like he doesn't know which side of her is real. It's almost like he doesn't. It's so strange because it's like he's watching her and observing her. And he sees all these different qualities and these, you know, what she's going through, these traits. And it's like, he wants, he does want to help. The desire is there, but it, it's like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand what she needs. He doesn't understand what she wants. Hmm. Okay, let's get some final messages on this. I just, I almost feel like they don't want to say like for sure yes or for sure no on you guys being friends because I feel like it's going to be different for everybody and I also just feel like for some, because it really depends on what this person does. You know what I mean? It's like this person's energy is just so chaotic. Like I'm not, it, it's almost, it's almost been hard to read these cards because they're all over the place. You know what I mean? Like you see, we get these kind of happy, loving cars and we get like the devil or the tower. It's like, it's a really mixed energy with this person. And I just think there's so many variables. Like there's so many different ways that this could play out. Um, just because this person's energy is so like, I don't know if neurotic is the right word, but it, it's like this person's not, this fuck boy isn't really stable. They're not, um, like, I don't get the energy of someone who like makes a decision and commits to it. You know what I mean? I feel like this person like is always on the go. They're always moving, always having to do something. They're always uh, changing their mind about things. Like they might be set on, you know, I'm going to date this person this, this minute. And then like next week, they could even be bipolar or something. Um, you know, they could be like, I'm going to date this person this week. And then like the next week there, it's like, they don't know what they're doing or they want to focus on something else. You know, like they're very passionate. They're very charismatic, very charming, but they really do not, they're not stable. They really don't know what they're doing. They don't have much direction in life. Even though I think this person is actually excited about life and they have a lot of goals in mind, it's like they, they don't know how to get there. And they're just kind of like, living their life day to day, like doing all these different things. You know what I mean? could be like, I don't know, like bipolar or ADD or something like that. Cause I just get like a very, um, chaotic energy. So it's like, he does want to support this woman, but he doesn't know how. 
I, I think your spirit guides also just want you to be careful. Even as a friend, I think they want to protect you because considering how, you know, unstable this man is, how he's all over the place, they don't want you to get heartbroken or get ghosted. They want to be able to protect your energy, protect you from going through an unnecessary heartbreak. So I think that's also why they're kind of hesitant to be like, oh, yeah, there's like a solid friendship here because it's like I could see that now. And then like a week from now, this man could just, you know, go go on a completely different path. Um, like, especially if someone sees through him, I think it's hard for him to. Like, I think you're meant to see through him, but I, I think it's, I keep hearing it's a matter of integrity. Um, I think you're meant to see through him, but it's like your spirit guides and his spirit guides don't know how he's going to react to that. I almost feel like it's, it's kind of, it's close to set in stone for you to see through him and trigger this awakening for him. Um... And that doesn't even mean you have to get invested. This could simply be calling him out. You might not even, you might just put him in his place. You guys might even get in an argument and you might just put him in his place in a way most women don't. It could be something as simple as that, you know, but there's something that I think you're destined to do or say to this man that is going to trigger that, that like, oh shit, I need to change. I need to, I'm, you know, like nostalgia, like I need to be a better person. There's something whether it's a positive conversation or a negative conversation, there's something that's going to take place between the two of you that's going to trigger this awakening, these, these, you know, trigger him to make these changes. Um, but for some, honestly, it's like he might run from that. You know what I mean? Like you might trigger these changes in him and you'll probably get some kind of karmic reward for it, but then he might run the other direction. You know what I mean? Like he might be like, okay, it's like you changed his life, but he, he doesn't know how to be around you now because it, it, it was too intense. It could be something like that. So I think that's why your spirit guides are like kind of keeping it in the dark a little bit because it's like they don't, they don't know. Um, it, it's it's uncertain what he's going to do after that transformation is triggered and starts taking place. Is there anything else we can know about this? I think it. You know, if you're resonating with this, I would recommend subscribing because I do think that we will get more energy you know, more of the storyline, like as we go on over the next few weeks or so. <laughs> Tell me more about this. Any, can we get any more messages on this? What do you need to know? For some, it could even be you walking away from him that triggers this in him. But, but yeah, I, f <sighs> I hate doing readings like this because I feel bad, like, not giving you guys more information. I'm just kind of, like, leaving you hanging like this. But it's, like, it kind of just is what it is, you know? It's, it's like... <sighs> <sighs> mm. I don't feel like you're going to be alone. Like, I, f I do feel like you do have love coming in. Like you have multiple people that are going to be in your life. It's just kind of up in the air whether this man is going to be one of them or not. But you already have people that you've either just met or you're about to meet that will be part of your your circle. You know, you do have another soulmate as well if this man, you know. I mean, I don't even know if you'd want to be romantic with this man. You have options basically is what I'm saying. You're not you're not stuck here. Uh, but yeah, we'll get more into it as, as um, the energy progresses. We'll see what happens next, you know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put this out.